Hi, I'm Chadwick. And I'm Ashley. And today we're going to show you around Fort Collins Lakeside KOA. This is the good life. Oh, 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 oh. This is the good life. Oh, 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 oh. Out in the sunshine. Nothing but good times. This is the good life. This is the good life. If you know how KOAs are set up, they're set up into three categories. There's the journey, the holiday, and the resort. This KOA is a holiday, which is their middle tier one, yeah. but it's by far the best KOA we've found here in Colorado so far. We haven't been to all of them, but we really like it. I would say it's almost on the cusp between um, a holiday and a resort because we've been to resort ones. and It's the same as a resort, I yeah, would say. I would say that it's, it's yeah. pretty darn close. Just like any KOA, this one has a great camp store with uh, Cokes, anything you need. Um, that was for you. <laughs> She's the Coke drinker. Yeah, but they also have firewood, so you can make great campfires. They have propane. You run out of propane, you can go fill up. Of course, it's not the cheapest propane, but it's available, which is helpful. The other thing I found interesting, and I would say this is one of the cons of this place, is that the sites don't automatically have a fire pit they're not built-in fire pits all oh, right you either have to bring your own or they have some that you can rent for like five dollars a day or five dollars a night or whatever but just a heads up if you ever come that you need to be aware of that we learned that the hard way the first time we came here this is our second time yeah with that being said the site we're staying at this time is considered their premier campsite i think they have three or four of them it has a hot tub, but also has fire pits, so we didn't have to worry about it this time. So we had fires both nights, and it was awesome. Just like most of the KOAs, this one has the variety of different sites. They have tent sites, they have RV sites, both pull through or back in, and then they have cabins as well. And then of the RV sites, there are ones you can upgrade to. One of the coolest things about KOA Lakeside is that they have a few sites that you can book if you get in early that have a private hot tub and we got one and i don't know if it's really still considered camping when you have a hot tub five steps from your camper door but we're sure loving it and i'm pretty sure our son harrison has been in it more than half the day <laughs> every day we've been here he woke up seven. at 7 30 this morning and went straight to the hot tub hi camera this is my hot tub that we have for the weekend. We can control it cool or hot. All those controls are down there on this little panel. This is the deepest part. This is certainly a different way to wake up when you're camping. It's like a camping bathtub, really. <laughs> I don't want to know what's in it, actually, but... We might clean it between each use. Nah, but, that's true. But the cool thing was, is like during the day, we'd turn the temperature down and it was like our own little mini swimming pool. And then at night we'd turn it up and then we had a hot tub. Uh, these sites are a little spendier. So I think the prices range in all the sites they have here from maybe 50 or something for a, a tent site. I'm sort of guessing. 50 ish to a little over 100 bucks for where we're staying uh, tonight. So it's not something you're going to do all the time, but it's kind of a nice treat. Yeah. It's like uh little our little luxury getaway camping exactly. weekend. <laughs> yeah. One of the nice things about this being a KOA and a holiday KOA is that it has lots of activities to do, which is nice if you have a family. So they have a, a great playground here. Tell me about the playground here. Is it awesome? At, at the playground it's actually pretty cool and there's it has like a bunch of like parkour things and one of the things the kids love about koa lakeside is the playground here it's big and unique it's not like your typical like plastic playground structure you see what i meant like you oh. slide down do that go to the side oh that's what i meant that's cool then you go to, to the side again that's what i Woo! <laughs> this 
And miniature golf. We played miniature golf yesterday. Harrison got some hole in ones. That was awesome. Especially how he achieved those hole in ones. Just goofing off. I just did a Happy Gilmore style and I got a hole in one. What's Happy Gilmore style like? <laughs> Can you do it to mine? It, yeah, and basically what you do is you like <laughs> come up okay, like a hockey mine. stick. <laughs> you what? What? Yes! Happy Gilmore is key. That was my third hole in one. Yes. What? <laughs> what? You can't do that if yeah. you tried. No. <laughs> and it's an 18 hole miniature golf. At some of the other KOAs we've been, that's been like a nine hole. So it's it's a big one. And it's maintained. That's the other thing. This resort keeps things clean it's maintained yes we're close to each other it is a koa uh but everything's ready to go they, they also have paddle boats we uh we had a lot of fun yesterday we went out on a paddle boat across the, the lake. lake yeah you want to pedal with me and dad and harrison ride in the back sure Noise. This is nice having a paddle boat. Wait, did I just hear another actual duck? And you can fish in that lake. Yep, no license required. Yeah. They have basketball court, volleyball court, pickleball court, horseshoes, um, you name it. They've got a little bit of everything. And it was all free too. You just go into their rec center place and you have to check out the equipment, but. It's all free and included. Yeah. So. That's nice. So some of them we've been to, you have to pay extra for those things, which is silly. Yeah. Um, oh, one other thing I th saw yesterday that was really cool. I'm not a vegetable grower by any means, but they actually have an herb garden here. The herb garden has, you know, cilantro and, and peppermint and all these different things that if you want to, you know, have a little extra to your cooking, you can just pick it for free and then cook it up in your rig and, you know. Have a delicious dinner. That's kind of cool. I've never seen that before. Yeah. Very earthy. <laughs> we mentioned paddle boarding and fishing. Paddle paddle boating. Paddle. Did we call it paddle boarding? It's it's a paddle boat. Yes, I but... think we said paddle boat. I think I said it wrong there. The the paddle boat and the fishing and stuff. But um, there's a really great little path all the way around the lake too mm -hmm. that you can walk. Speaking of the trail that goes around the lake which is pretty awesome is um at the end of the trail there's a dog park so if you have a dog bring a dog Darcy, let's go it's not the best dog park in the world to be honest but it's fenced in and it's a spot where you can let your dog off leash uh, if you're like us and me with roxy who's our little dog um she doesn't like to you know do the bathroom stuff on the leash so it's nice to be able to go in there she can Run around, play a little bit, and then do her business. That bathroom stuff's only for you. She'll go to the bathroom on leash for me. Well, it's just you. <laughs> I'm just not a great <laughs> leash walker, apparently. <laughs> uh, but yeah, so dog park, definitely a, a, a plus. Or one other little thing they have here is they do train rides on Fridays and Saturdays. It's like a little electric yeah. train that the kids can ride on and they take you on a tour around the lake and show you the resort and stuff. It's it's cute. Yeah, uh, Harrison had a lot of fun. He's uh, six years old and still had a good time doing that, so. Highly recommend the train ride. They do have a bounce pillow and like inflatables and things like that. But right now with COVID, those are closed, so they're not they're not yeah. doing those and then my favorite part is that they have a little chuck wagon here and in the mornings they make a pancake breakfast that you can get how much was it I, it's maybe five dollars and you get a plate of three pancakes and you can side add of yeah bacon side of bacon you can add chocolate chips to the pancakes some chocolate chips in your pancake yeah man and uh oh and a coffee or water so yeah. it's kind of nice like if you camp a lot and you're always making breakfast, it's nice to have the option for someone to Little make treat. it for you. Yeah. Look who joined us. Yeah. Wow. 
long. What got you out of bed this morning? Pancakes. Pancakes. These are the best adorable pan pancakes of glory. Pancakes of glory. Adorable too. Mmm. So good. And then in the evenings, they have they sell other things there, but I think primarily pizza. They'll make you can get pizzas and you can get the pizzas delivered to your campsite, um, but they have a lot of other foods there too. So it's just, again, a nice little little option. They don't have like a restaurant on site, but they do have that. So we mentioned the lake and how you can take little boats out on there and you can fish there. You can't swim in it, but you can swim in the swimming pool that they have here. So it's not huge. It's a smaller-ish swimming pool, but it's still a swimming pool nonetheless. It didn't ever get very crowded either, which was nice. We actually never made it over there. Well, we didn't because we had the hot tub. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> um, but they also have a hot tub, a group hot tub over there by the swimming pool as well. So um, if you're not lucky enough to get one of the hot tub campsites, you still have the option for a hot tub over there. So you have that. The campsites here, I think they pretty much all have full hookups. So we've got sewer, we've got, you know, running water, which the water tastes fine. It's it's decent, you know, it's Colorado. Um, and we have electricity, so we have our full 30 amps. So that means when it's hot in the summer, we have our AC cranking, which is really nice. Something we're getting used to because we're all we're new to this whole RVing, camping sort of thing. And we also, with the water, because we have small tanks in our Winnebago, is that we can just have all the hot water for our longest showers that we want and fill that gray tank up and just let it rip and <laughs> you know every day we can just like fill it up if we want to which has been kind of nice yeah so but um they also have cable tv however it's analog it doesn't look great so if you have an, uh, an antenna that's on the roof i found well yesterday the cubs played for the first time <laughs> in this season it worked a lot better on the antenna than it did over cable. Just because it's HD, it looks way better, sounds better. So you can pick up channels here. But you can pick, nice. yeah, you can pick up channels. That gets to the next part about cell phone service. Yeah, the cell phone service here is okay. It's not super strong, but it's not non-existent. So we have between the family, I have AT and T, and they have uh, Chadwick and Braxton have T-Mobile, and we all well, sort of. We use Mint Mobile. But uses T-Mobile towers. Yeah. And um, so it, it, it's decent enough that you can get your phone to work. It's not great. They do have Wi-Fi here. That's not so great. That's one of the, the cons of this, this location, I think, is that they tout the Wi-Fi, but... That's putting it nicely that it's not so great, the Wi-Fi. It's pretty terrible. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> wi Wi-Fi is it basically considered it, the fact there's no Wi-Fi, at least on the weekends when it's full. Yeah, on the weekends when it's full. I think when people start to clear out, you start to see, oh, hey, it works. <laughs> but on the weekends when it's full and there's multiple people connected to it, just don't count on it. Right. We did this video to hopefully help someone else out who's thinking about coming here, but we're still new to this camping thing too. So let us know in the comments, like what are your favorite campgrounds you've been to in Colorado in particular? Cause that's where we live. So it's easy for us to get to, but, but where else, especially if it's a KOA, um, we're not married to doing KOAs, but they are nice with a family cause there's lots of activities. So what's your favorite KOA you've been to, or what's your favorite non KOA you've been to? We'd love to love to hear more. And do you like, staying at an RV park or do you prefer staying at you know like boondocking or like national forest we're trying both out I think I definitely see the benefits to both yeah there's <laughs> pros and cons to each for sure this weekend in particular staying at this KOA with all these amenities it doesn't really feel like camping so it's <laughs> that's good and bad you know <laughs> it's nice to have a yeah. little of both if you like this video and found it useful at all, please subscribe, maybe tap that like button. That way you won't miss our video coming out next week. This is our first camping trip of the year where we decided to bring Harrison's bike. And we're having a lot of luck. The reason we haven't brought it before is because he's just learning. And this is where he's at right now. No, I'm not made to tow. And I'm there he goes. And we're real slow I with the brake. Okay, real slow. Real slow with that break. Alright, I'm just gonna give you a little tiny push and you're gonna go.
That was only about 20 minutes of work. You did it! I know they'll say I was wondering. Thanks for watching.